Do you have anything going on on the dry caps piece or what's going on with that or is the technology there yet? Well, yes and no. Uh, so first of all, dry, truly dry electrodes don't exist because what's going to happen if you press an electrode, silver silk chloride or whatever, into the skin hard enough, eventually you'll get contact because you sweat. Mm. Okay, so dry electrodes is an illusion. They don't exist. That's number one. Number two is if you want to have them work real well, you better put a lot of pressure on them. So the problem there is that certain people, and I tried it myself, get headaches. So the, the systems where you have to squeeze those things into your skin and then wait, I'm saying it a little bit simplistically, but waiting for them to start sweating so that you have a better contact. I myself believe more in what we call semi-dry. And I want to give you an example. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but what we have here is a semi-dry electrode. And these, um, it's a saline solution really. And you click them into your cap and you put them on the head and then they work because they're not dry, they're semi-dry. Semi-dry means that they're not dripping with water, that the gel is not running across your face, but that they're wet enough to immediately make a contact with your skin. So we've created a headset for that, the Nexus headset um, that we had on the market for a number of years. Now this year, we're introducing a new cap at the ISNR. I can briefly show it. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stand up and it's on my table right here. I'm in the Go. office. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Make it happen, Erwin. Yeah. Dance for your supper. So this this cap here is a is a is a new cap that we're putting on the market, which uses the shielded cables of the Nexus 10. They go all the way up to the electrodes here. You shield it up to your skin, so to speak, so to speak. They use little, little silver silver chloride discs. At this moment, we'll first introduce it. You put a drip of gel beneath it, just a drop of gel. And I can set up a four channel linkier uh, configuration with it. Ha this has set in less than 60 seconds. 60. 60, mm. one, one minute. Less than one so minute. So you're not, you're not piping or making a little, okay. No, no. And this cap will first introduce for the Nexus 10. It, we have, absolutely artifact free signals with it in terms of movement artifact, 50, 60 hertz, very low. And so that's the first problem we wanna solve because dry electrodes by themselves, um, it sounds nice, but as I said, there's some drawbacks. The purpose really is to get a good signal as fast as you can with as little mess as you can, right? So that's the first step. We're still using a kind of a gel, like the ECI gel, but just a small drop. So that means if you've used this cap, you're not going to have big blobs of 1020 in your hair. The next step is this electrode that I showed to you, this semi-dry electrode here that you see. Currently, um, it's still manufactured for the EEG headset that we're currently not supplying because we're going to replace it with this head cap or make these electrodes smaller. I don't know exactly when we're going to put them on the market, but that gives you a semi-dry solution, meaning you put those little things in a bit of physiological uh, water solution, something like 0.7% salt. You put them in there and you get them out of that cup with water. You snap them into the cap, put them on your head. And again, in one minute or less, you have four channels of neurofeedback. That's our goal. That not... would be great. That would help the learning curve training the text. We're super happy with this. We, we, we created this solution just one month ago. We, um, we're going to release this. We're going to show this cap at the ISNR. If people want to see a demo, we can do it. One minute or less, four channels, no artifact. You can start training right away with minimum gel. Again, a semi-dry solution where you're not even using gel, but just water, that's going to be in the market sometime next year, but I can't give any date yet. 